Hey guys, this is Matt from Nod Studios here, and welcome back. Today we're going to be starting up a new Superpower 2 series, this time doing something completely new, and I'll be honest, I've never played as an island nation before, but we're going to be doing it this time around, and honestly I've never even played as an island nation on my own outside of YouTube and, you know, off camera. I mean, we did do the Popple States at one point, and that series actually went really well. We ended up conquering a vast amount of territory. However, the Popple States was attached to land. It was a part of the Italian peninsula, and so we had access to Europe and European land, and also the Mediterranean, so therefore access to Africa, Asia, and basically the entire world. I mean, this is going to be a little bit different. We are very limited because we don't have a whole lot of people. If we open up the more info tab, as you guys can see, we have a measly population of 125,000. Ooh, that is very sparse, extremely sparse. And if we take a look at our land, oh my god, 100% of our land is unusable. And look at our terrain. This is how big our country is, guys. Only 702 square kilometers. That is nothing. That is incredibly infinitesimal. We are such a small nation. However, on the bright side, if you take a look at our human development, hey, we're actually not doing too bad. We're just below the world average. So that's not too terrible. I mean, things could be a little bit better. We could be a little bit more developed. But, I mean, it's not horribly, you know, everybody's dying terrible. If you take a look at our birth rate, you'll notice that it is currently set at 2.6% per year. And our death rate is only a measly 0.5%. So that's really good. That's amazing. We're starting out, eh, okay. In terms of all of that, if we open up the economic tab and open up our GDP so that way we can see everything, you'll notice that per capita we have about $2,097. That's not too shabby. However, we're not making our budget. We're not making ends meet. And this is a very measly, not costy budget. So that really worries me. Now what we can do for right now is we can cut back on research, we can up tourism, uh, we can get some more government support, we can get some telecommuting initiative. We actually, we want to max that out because we want telecoms to grow because it massively benefits our economy. I, I really, I, I can't stress that enough. You really need it. Same thing goes for infrastructure. You really need it, guys. Uh, we'll get rid of propaganda completely. And we could cut back a little bit on environment. We could really soak back on healthcare. Education could drop a little bit, although it's pretty well funded right now. I'm pretty happy with the way it is. And I'll just up the governmental spending a tad bit because we do want to, you know, kind of root out corruption. We do have a relatively high rate of corruption at 45.7%. So that does scare me a, a tad bit. And the next thing I would like to go ahead and do is adjust the personal income tax modifier. And the reason why I want to go ahead and do this is because, well, we simply aren't meeting our expenditure. And that is very bad. That leads to debt. And debt leads to very high interest bills. And very high interest bills lead to a very bad day and a very huge, huge debt. You're not going to dig yourself out of the hole. So, what I want to go ahead and do is prevent that from happening. And the way we can do that is by taxing the heck out of our people. Now, if you take a look at how many people are actually under the poverty line, it is insane. 72% of our population is under the poverty line. That is ridiculous, guys. That is insane. However, we are going to have to raise taxes, unfortunately, Things will eventually get better, I promise, but for right now, more of your paycheck is going to have to go to Big Brother. So let's just go ahead and adjust this up to, say, 
45%. And we can do this because if we take a look at our approval rating, it's set at 80.2%, which is amazing. That is astonishingly good. I love it. So, you know, I'm really not worried about raising it a huge bit because we can afford to take the hit in approval. So I'm just going to go ahead and push that through and we can hit OK. Speed it up a little bit. See, that only dropped our approval to 52%, and now it's back up to 53 Look at that, guys. I don't know if that's gonna, you know, adjust for our budget, though, because we do have a bit of expenditure. I don't know if we're gonna be able to spend this much money on, like, tourism. We might even have to seek foreign support. Yeah, I think, actually, foreign support is the way we're gonna have to go here. Let's go to Diplomatic Relations. Ooh, the Vatican really likes us. I don't know why that is. Oh, because we're a majority Catholic, maybe? I don't know. I mean, it is a majority, but not really a huge majority over the Protestants. I mean, that's not a huge difference. That's a 3.1% difference. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and permit women to vote we're going to permit the freedom of demonstration and why i am doing all of this is because i am trying to mimic the one the only the greatest country in the entire world who we actually have an alliance with already the united states of america i really want them to like me canada hey they can also like me too because they end up doing pretty well most of the time so let's go ahead zoom back into our small little island country over here and, whoa, whoa, where is it? Go back to internal laws. Oh, wow. So the U.S. doesn't even really, did that even affect them? I mean, Great Britain really likes me. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'll take it. If they want to like me, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and legalize same-sex marriage and legalize abortion as well. There we go. That moved us significantly more to the left of the uh, political spectrum there. Now, let's see. We got to go ahead and click off the country and click back onto it. Ooh, geez. Switzerland? I think that's Switzerland, right? Yeah, it is. They are the country that likes us the most. They're in a deficit right now, though, so they aren't going to give us, you know, any freebies or anything like that. Let's see, maybe some economic aid? No, they're going to refuse that. Yeah, actually, that makes a whole lot, you know, a whole lot of sense. They're in a freaking deficit. So let's go ahead and actually try and get uh, maybe a partnership. Okay, they'll do that. I like that. What about a common market? Ah, oh, they're going to refuse it. An alliance, maybe? Nope. Uh, maybe... Uh, weapons trade? Yeah, Switzerland really doesn't seem like the country to do that. Maybe a human development? Alrighty. We probably already have something with them, though. Internationally. Um, let's see, what else? I think that's about really all we, you know, uh, can do. And the tax rate is going up to 80% right off the bat. Oh, no, not 90%. That will kill us. I don't want to do that. I want to almost kill us, but not completely kill us. There we go. How does that... Oh, our approval. Terrible, terrible. Oh. Yeah, that is pretty despicable. We might have to start pouring a little bit of money into propaganda. We can't pay for it, though. How are we going to pay for it? Oh, this is very bad, guys. Uh -huh. Let's see. What can we do here? I don't really want to get rid of uh, tourism spending, though. I really do not want to gut it. We could get rid of a little bit of education. Healthcare? Oh, man, this is terrible. Maybe governmental spending can go by the wayside. 
Oh yeah, and I completely forgot to mention, I am using the Realism Steam mod in order to play this series. If you guys do want to check out this mod for yourself, I will be including a download link in the description below where you guys can go ahead and find this mod and download it for yourselves if you want to just, you know, play it on your free time or if you even want to play while you're watching the, you know, playthrough. And it looks like we still are not meeting our requirement here. Now let's go ahead and open up the resources tab. Do we have any sectors, any at all? we can nationalize in order to make a profit. Oh, wow, okay, we actually have a few. Now, what I'm gonna do first off the bat, as I always do, is legalize the drug market. It will do it at a tax of 5%, just to start it off. I don't even know if we have any share. No, we don't even have a drug market. So, we are completely drug-free, that's very good. Completely tobacco-free as well, wow! These guys impress me, okay. All right, so it looks like the majority of our food and agriculture sectors can be nationalized in order to make a profit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is switch over the meat market and the cereals market to government control. Hopefully this is going to generate a huge amount of profits for the government or at least, you know, enough for us to survive off of. We might even have to do the vegetables and fruits Oh, yeah, we are going to have to do it. We're not going to make enough with those two sectors. I mean, we might even have to do dairy, too. We got to make ends meet somehow, guys. Thankfully, our corruption is dropping, though. That's very good. That makes me extremely happy. It's now down to 30%. Let's see, though. How's the money? Ah, oh, not very good. All right, let's go ahead and nationalize the dairy sector. This just in, Belgium has granted financial economic aid to Micronesia. Congratulations, Micronesia. You now have a bigger paycheck at the end of the week. Hey guys, as you just saw, I got an economic aid treaty with Belgium there. That makes me very happy because we need money. We need all of the economic support that we can possibly get. And I noticed that Belgium was running a positive budget. So I decided to go ahead and take advantage of that, get a common market treaty with them, and see if I couldn't further that and get some more economic monetary aid. Now what I want to go ahead and do as well is switch over this interest rate over here from 2% to 0%. We do not want any interest right now. Our inflation percentage is very low. We want it to rise to about, you know, I would say 5% is pretty decent. I think that's a great number because then your profits are up and, you know, uh, governmental spendings aren't, you know, too much more because as inflation goes up, your spendings do go up because the value of the dollar has decreased. However, you do want a decent amount of inflation because it's just good for the economy. It just generates more money and people have more to spend. Ooh, okay, so according to my notifications over here, we have been asked to join a treaty with Andorra. Okay, countries on side A pay up for up to 10% of resource importations needed for domestic... Uh, okay, so I think they are offering us economic aid here. So I'm going to go ahead and join on in. That sounds great. I will most certainly take it. Ooh, same thing with France. All right. And it looks like Greece sent us a similar treaty here. Yes, guys, we've managed to put their country in the green. As you can see, green, red, green. Oh, yes. Green like Shrek. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the numbers, they just keep growing. So we're now in the year of 2004. I'm just going to go ahead and speed the game up a little bit. So that way we can get rid of some of our debt. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So a little bit down the line in 2005... We're now back in our deficit, and this really is not good. 
I think the economic aid is just a little bit shaky right now. We're not making that much money. And also the government controlled sectors are not performing as well as they once were. So, what I was thinking of maybe doing is selling off some of our regions. However, I don't think we really have any to give away. And it appears that, well, that's true, we don't. Oh, on the other side of things though, the United States is now in a positive balance. So let's see, can we get an economic aid treaty going with them as well? No, they refused it. Really, will they assume my debt? No, they will not. Wow. What about a partnership? I mean, we might already be in one. Common treaty? Or common market? And common aid? Please give me aid. I just want aid. Ugh, dang it. They're not going to give it to me. Yeah, they don't want to give it to me. We would have to change our laws a little bit. Wow, they limited the amount of children you could have. Holy cow. They don't allow same-sex marriage either. Maybe we should change our own internal laws to match the United States. I still don't think we would get, you know, friendly enough with them in order to uh, do that. Alrighty guys, I might be going out on a little bit of a limb here, but I think if we legalize child labor, it might increase our GDP just enough so that way we can go ahead and afford our budget. I don't know, it might be a little bit of a stretch, but eh, we'll see what happens. Mm, I don't really know guys, it doesn't look like it changed all that much. Although it did lower a little bit, so maybe it did something. Alrighty guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this one off here. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. If you are enjoying this new Micronesian series, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to write me out a comment below. And also, stay subscribed or hit that subscribe button if you haven't already in order to stay tuned for more content upcoming on this channel. Once again, thank you all so, so much. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.